Yep. No snoring. That's copyrighted by Kurt J. Mack. So I don't snore in real life. And I really hope I never do. Um, because they say that's a marriage wrecker. Because, you know, someone who can, loves you completely totally is going to leave you because you freaking snore. Come to me. Alright, I'm contemplating bringing my bed with me. So I don't have to make another one. But then my spawn will be reset, so what's the point of using the bed to change your spawn? Oh, whatever, I'm just going to go. Okay, yes, I'm totally, I'm, this, I'm not, I'm not deviating from the normal plan of my games, which is wondrously aiming, wondrously, wondrously aiming, wondrously, wondrously. Did I? Well, I'm not using any, any words correctly. I mean, aimlessly wandering until I find a really cool area to, to make my house. Wondrously aiming. <laughs> it's going to be my new catchphrase. Wondrously aiming. Dogs. Hmm. I'm definitely going to want to make a pack of dogs eventually. That's another thing I do. I, I raise, like, every single animal in a giant, like, like freaking 100 by 100 pens, and I get, like, 42 million cows and 57 million ca chickens. Speaking of chickens, did you know that there are more chickens in Rhode Island than there are people? I heard that once. I have no idea how that's true, because, like, Rhode Island is, like... Oh, look, a village! Yes! Yes! This this is really amazing because like I said, oh, I must save that villager from the zombie. Uh, uh, sprint, sprint is it actually sprinting? Oh okay, the sun killed the zombie. All right, don't get to be a hero. Okay, the reason I like villages is because they're the only reliable place to get carrots and potatoes. And like I said, I always make giant farms of every imaginable variety. So without finding a village, it's really not possible to make potato in the carrot farms. I mean, there's the off chance that you can kill a freaking, uh, a freaking, um, you know, a zombie. And what the was? <laughs> Stupid mouse. I got, I got an old mouse and every once in a while it just freaking, like, shoots off into the sky and, like, I'm leaving! Oh, gosh. My voice is my voice is slightly not as um uh it's what the hell what? what okay I'm gonna come back and contemplate that a little later but uh, anyway my voice is I did a lot of voice acting yesterday for this random parody I'm making so my voice is not as deep and as beautiful as it normally is. Right. I'm stealing your winter harvest. You will starve! You will starve! That time I purposely did that, and it wasn't my mouth. More seeds I have. Oh, okay. This person doesn't know how to design their own house. Freaking they make it so they can't get in. Um Okay, alright. I have never seen a naturally occurring iron golem. You'd think there'd be enough villagers here for an iron golem, but there isn't. Okay, I'm gonna go back to that one place and talk about this, what I saw. Okay, this make no sense. All right, there's water flowing out of here like this block has been broken, but the block isn't broken. The freaking water is still in the pen, so how is this happening? Is there, like, is it... Yeah, okay, that makes no sense. I'm not even gonna try and justify it or figure it out. It's, it's just a complete and utter glitch. Lava. Is that supposed to be his anvil? I mean, okay. They have actual anvil blocks now. They can put a freaking anvil block out there. Of course, that'd be a little OP considering. What? A diamond? Obsidian? 
didn't know you could find those things in these type of thing. In <laughs> a diamond? I stole your diamond! Ha <laughs> ha! You can't propose to your freaking Squidward girl now. Um. Okay. Where is the librarian? I much desire to speak with him. Fish for emeralds. Wool for emeralds. I'm gonna find three. Okay. The money system is so completely screwed up in this game. Uh. Pfft, apples. Oh, that's really good. Because freaking arrows take forever to freaking go out and find. I might have already looked at this one. I mean, not really find, but I mean make. I mean, you gotta get some, like, you gotta get... Okay, sticks is the easiest part. I'm not even... Ooh, that's an even better deal. Okay, so, okay, alright. Eight gold for one emerald. Or in three emeralds for one flint and steel. That doesn't make any sense whatsoever. You think, like, gold would be, like... Gold would be worth a lot. And flint and steel would be worth not a lot. Like, okay, like... Flint and steel is a really good item. I mean, there's a lot that you can do with it. But it's extremely easy to make. It's just one flint, which you can find by making gravel. By breaking gravel, I meant. And a lot of freaking apple farmers. Uh... Yeah, it's just... I really want to buy arrows from these people, but I don't have any reliable way of... Anyway, it's just, it just one iron, which is like, like later on, it's like the easiest thinking freaking thing to get. Like, you get like a million bajillion iron towards the end. And a freaking flint, so like, that's not worth that much. But freaking eight gold for one emerald, and then you can have 24 freaking gold for like, one freaking fun and steel. Like, that does not make any sense whatsoever. Like, the only thing that should cost, like, more than, like, one emerald is, like, things like armor. Those should cost, like, a handful of emeralds, like, or, I'd like, maybe, like, even ten emeralds, depending on what, what kind of armor it is, but, yeah, like, the rest of the freaking, um, prices are just freaking outlandish. Because they're not it's not a ravine. Oh gosh, I have no idea what I sound like. It could sound stupid. Probably sounds stupid. I want to sound stupid. Do I still have that? Oh, okay. I don't really need to kill any more defenseless animals. Sparing the animals. Honestly, I like like I said, I'm wondrously aiming um, off to, like, pretty much anywhere. I'm just... just wondrously aiming. <sighs> do, do, do. Wondrously aiming. That is totally gonna be my new catchphrase. I'm sorry. You heard it here, folks. If I ever become popular, which is, like, the smallest chance of really, like, I have... Like, a higher chance of being struck by lightning than becoming popular, but if I become popular and there's freaking t-shirts with the word wondrously aiming, it is from episode one of whatever I'm going to call this series. So, if you have the privilege of watching it, back when I'm a superstar, okay, I'm going to stop right now. Yes, freaking... Choco, cocoa beans. See, like, this is another thing I farm. I mean, I, every plant that is edible in this game I farm. I mean, once I get a really good farm going. So I need these for a farm. So you can have, like, a cookie factory. See, it's for cookie. It's good enough for me. Okay, how long have I been recording? Like I said, I, I want to keep this down to, like, 10 minutes. No! Um, just so, like, 10 to 15, no, not even 15 minutes, like, 10 minutes. I don't, I, I really should have, like, um, I really should have kept track of the time, because I don't know if you can see the, my taskbar, but it's still there, and I can, I gotta figure out how to deactivate that. I mean, 
Because I don't, I don't see taskbars in other Let's Players videos, so... Um... Oh, crap. See, this is the type of re this is the type of thing I'm like, why I should have brought the bed with me. Because, like, the only thing that's going to kill me when I'm walking around a day is falling off a massive cliff. So there's really no point in worrying about my spawn being, re like, being, like, first, like, the funny thing is, I left my bed there so I wouldn't have to worry about going back to spawn. But that is, like, literally, like, 100 blocks away from spawn, back where the bed is. So, like, it's totally stupid to leave the bed behind. <laughs> I got nothing really out of it besides skipping one day. I mean, one night. Now I have to, like, freaking walk through this night. I'm gonna freaking die and lose all my potatoes and carrots! Um... Okay, what should I do? Oh my gosh, I swamped by, um... 